Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at drawing the types of modulus graphs such as the modulus of f of x and f of the modulus of x. So you see here how the modulus symbols are on different are in different positions for the different types of graphs here. And here we're going to be answering questions from exercise 2e. So the two different types of graphs that we're going to look at drawing here require different types of rules to sketch them out. Now, what I'm assuming here is that you already know how to sketch the f of x type graph, and it's just now introducing the modulus symbols in around those f of x type questions. So for this function here, f of x equals x squared minus x minus 6. Um, you can imagine how you would draw this. You might factorize it, find the x-axis intersection points. You know it's a quadratic, so just make sure your quadratic, positive quadratic, goes through the two intersection points that you create. And your y-axis coordinate is going to be minus 6. Now what we're going to look at here is how you then would draw y equals the modulus of f of x. Now this is to say that you would work out the value of the function f of x first, so you would plug whatever coordinate you've got into your x positions first, <coughs> get your answer, and then work out the modulus of that answer. Okay, so you can kind of see here that we're probably only going to be getting positive y-coordinates. The reason being is because if you were to get a negative y-coordinate out of this function here, um, before you actually go and plot that coordinate, you would have to modulus it and make it into a positive. But let's just see this in action. Let's just go through substituting the numbers in between minus 4 to 4 for this certain function here. We go and substitute those in, we get this range of values here. But now what we're going to do is we're now going to modulus all of these values from the second row. So 14 stays the same, 6 stays the same, 0 will stay the same, minus 4 will turn into 4 now, so it will become positive having been negative. Minus 6 will now become positive. Minus 6 will also become positive, minus 4 will become positive, 0 will stay as it is, and 6 will stay as it is. So you've got a range of numbers here that are just going to stay as they are. They were already positive coordinates. And then the negative coordinates that were here have now been made into positive values. So if you were to sketch the original function, what you're going to see is that this range of coordinates here are now going to be made positive. <clears throat> and the ones and the coordinates on the side that were already positive effectively stay where they are. So keep these coordinates here the same. Anything that's on the top, keep that there. But anything that was on the bottom, it gets flipped up to the top. Okay, it gets made into a positive value. So the final answer for y coordinates that we get, uh, which are negative, they will become positive at the end. Okay, so it's take the bottom half of your graph and reflect it upwards. There should be now nothing on the bottom. Let's have a look at the other type of transformation. It's the f of modulus x transformation. Now this is done in this different order. First of all, you take your x coordinates and then make them positive. Then you substitute those positive coordinates into x squared minus 3x. So if you were to take the example for x is minus 2, you would turn minus 2 into a positive number first, so make it a 2, and then substitute it into this equation here. Let's see that in action. So the first thing we do is we take our numbers between minus 4 and 4, and the first thing we do here, because it's inside the brackets, is we make it positive. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 stay the same. But minus 1 will turn into a 1, minus 2 will turn into a 2, minus 3 will turn into a 3, and minus 4 will turn into a 4. Now we start substituting these numbers from the second row into our function. So 0 will just come out at 0, as, it, as you expect it would. 1 will come out at minus 2. 2 will come out at minus 2 as well. 3 at 0, and 4 at 4. Now what we're going to see on the left hand side here is effectively we're going to be substituting the same numbers that we did before into our function. So you can kind of just copy across the minus 2 into this box here because we're substituting in 1 
in both cases. And the same for the 2 coordinate here, we can effectively just replace the minus 2 into that box there, 0 and 4 as you go along. So effectively what we're seeing here is that the graph on the right hand side is pretty much going to stay as it was, but then that right hand side is now going to effectively get copied over to the left hand side. So your original graph is going to look something like this, but your modulus graph, the right hand side stays the same, and now it's just going to get copied over to the left hand side, because all of these left hand um, x values here get made positive first, and then they're going to have the same y coordinate as they did on the right hand side. So it's like a mirror image from the right hand side to the left hand side. And notice here how the left hand side in the original function has effectively just got rubbed out with your rubber. Okay, so all negative coordinates are made positive before calculating the function, that's really important. Take the right hand side and make a mirror copy of it on the left. Now, in these two questions that I've just done, one before here, this, and this one here, I've done it by the coordinates. You don't need to do it by the coordinates. If you can remember the rule that if the modulus is on the outside of the brackets, you reflect bottom up to the top. And if your modulus symbols are inside the brackets, you reflect the right-hand side to the left-hand side and scribble out the left-hand side as it was. Okay, you can just remember those two sets of rules. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a look at doing these sorts of questions with the sine graph. Now just to remind you, the original sine graph looks a little bit like this. Now the modulus of the sine graph with the modulus on the outside of the brackets. Now remember, when the modulus is on the outside of the brackets, we reflect the bottom up to the top. All the y coordinates are now going to be made positive. If they were already positive, keep them where they are. If they were negative, make sure they now become positive. <clears throat> and remember there's a different rule for when the modulus symbols are inside the brackets. Remember here we take a copy of the right hand side just as it was, we keep the right hand side exactly the same, <clears throat> and then we mirror reflect this over onto the left hand side. So in this case here we get a mirror reflection of the right hand side onto the left hand side. Okay, so two different sets of rules for the two different types of transformations. Okay, the diagram here shows y equals h of x with five points labelled. Sketch each of the following graphs labelling the corresponding points a, b, c, d and e, as well as any intersections with the axes. What we're going to do this for the two different types of transformations, the modulus h of x graph and the h of modulus x graph. <coughs> So, the first question here is for where the modulus is surrounding the h of x. And remember, in this case here, we're going to take the bottom part of this graph and reflect it up to the top. So just reflect it up to the top, rub out to the bottom, and then any coordinates that are going to change, we're going to change those coordinates. Now, on the 6 minus 5 coordinate here, it's still going to be 6 along to the right, but now it's not going down 5, it's going up 5. So now that coordinate is 6, 5. For the next one here, effectively what we're doing is we're taking a copy of the right-hand side. You can see the right-hand side here is exactly the same as what we've got here. Rubbing out the left-hand side, we don't need that bit, and we want to make then a copy of this, or a mirror copy of it on the left-hand side. So it's going to look a little bit like this. And it's going to be perfectly symmetric as well. So this point here is going to be minus 3, and this point here is going to be minus 6, minus 5. Because now it's not right by 6, it's left by 6. Okay. Okay, so there we have it. That's how you draw these two types of graphs here. Have a go at this question 5 here. For the graph on the right-hand side, draw modulus f of x and f of modulus x. Okay, so let's have a go at these two questions here then. So remember, for the first type of transformation, the f of mod, uh, sorry, modulus of f of x, we take a we take the bottom of the graph and reflect it up to the top. So just drawing it in, I'll probably 
a good idea might be to sketch in some coordinates first. This coordinate here at B is now going to be minus 4, 5, because it's now been reflected to the top. It's now a positive y coordinate. Then we're going to intersect at minus 2. Then we're going to go up at 3. And then we're going to come back down at 2, 1. And then we're going to go up again. So let's go for it. It's now going to have a pointy edge here, another pointy edge here, and up again. So you're not used to having pointy edges on your graphs. Usually your cubic graphs, your quartic graphs, and your sine graphs have nice flows to them. In this case here, it is going to have a pointy edge where it intersects those x-axes. This here is y equals modulus f of x. Now let's have a look at the second graph here, f of modulus x. Now remember on this type of graph we take a copy of the right hand side, so we've got some coordinates at 3 here and 2, 1, and we reflect it over to the left hand side. So it's going to look a little bit like this. And the coordinate here is going to be minus 2, 1, just like that. Okay. So that's how we draw these two types of graphs here. Um, have lots of practice on this exercise here. It is useful to be able to sketch modulus graphs pretty quickly. It's almost certainly going to turn up in an exam. Okay, um, okay, yeah, so thanks very much for watching and have lots of practice.